Of the 4.3 million um, waiting right now for visas, over nearly half of that is of Asian people. So a lot of our families who are waiting to be reunited with siblings or parents are waiting because there's a major backlog. And so the legislation that the Senate side are looking to propose is going to eliminate those two key provisions from the immigration law, which will, in essence, strip all the opportunities for families to reunite um, under those two categories. In terms of spousal visas that are still um, very much part of the legislation, but those other two provisions will be stripped. And that's what the proposal is. And so it's a very big concern for our communities. And so we are in Ohio for this event is part of nine other um, events all across the country, including the state of California, Illinois, Texas, Georgia, and Florida, hosting this event right now because we're trying to raise visibility and concerns around these particular provisions in the family immigration side of the legislation um, to make sure that our congressional representatives and our senators are aware of the importance of this issue for our communities. So as far as um, this event is concerned, it's timely. There's a lot of activities been going on. The Greater Cleveland Partnership just recently on Tuesday hosted an event about the impact, the economic impact of our uh, of immigration. And one of the unique things about our communities is that we have a very large percentage of our families who run small businesses. And those small businesses are often staffed by relatives. And so that family immigration policy is very critical to that because, you know, even when I was growing up and my parents owned a grocery store, they sponsored my uncle and his family to come to the United States and they were very important to running our grocery store. So, and I think that story is very much reminiscent of a lot of communities, a lot of individuals here who, you know, rely on family members to help with that initial business.